The cost of cement in the country is said to be high, which has translated to high building costs and combined with other factors such as land rates have made the cost of building or buying homes expensive for many. The high cement cost has partly been cut as of high importation cost of clinker. In a bid to correct these, DEFC Group Chairman Narendra Raval says that National Cement Company will next year commission its clinker plant, a factor that will positively impact on cement prices for customers. Once that clinkerization project is running, which is $200 million, where once it is started production every year, the country will save $100 million of importation, $100 million in foreign exchange Kenya will save by us producing the local clinker. With over 500 tons of steel produced annually at Devki, Raval knows that Kenya should not continue importing ready-made steel, but grow the capacity for local investors and protect them. By importing the, the ready-made steel from outside, we are exporting our uh, jobs. And that is the biggest requirement of our country. It is companies like this that as a government we must ensure we support them and we must have very close collaboration. And as a ministry responsible for private sector, we must work very closely with them to make sure that all the issues that will facilitate them to be competitive and enable them to trade within the region are addressed in a timely manner. He however notes that the huge infrastructure projects by the government, such as the SGR, have encouraged investors to increase their investments. The initiative from the young president is giving us a life and making us more courageous to move, put more money here and, and make a bigger factory. We are already supplying cement and steel in our railway line and road. Currently, DEFKI produces 60% of steel used in Kenya and plans to set up a steel plant in both Congo and Ethiopia. Nicholas Ndwati. News or business?